Hi, so today is uh, Thursday, November 4th, um, 2010, and I am about 21 and a half months on T, I think, something along those lines, and um, like 10 and a quarter months post-op. So that's exciting, and I thought I would make a video of just my kind of um, transitional updates. Yeah. Um, so basically, one thing I've noticed, which you're not going to be able to see on camera, so this is, this is pointless, but... I have hand hair. This is like really recent, like, you can kind of see it there. It's just creeping, it's like creeping up, and like Olga noticed it too the other day, and now I'm just like, it's spreading, it's like going all over the place, like, I know my arm hair like darkened at first, like, I noticed that within the first six months or so, but, um, now it's spreading, it's going everywhere. Um, it's like slowly creeping up my chest too, uh, you're not gonna be able to see that on camera either, <laughs> but it's creeping up my chest. Which makes me nervous because I do want to get, uh, I want to get a chest tattoo. Um, not covering my scars. Nope. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, I usually don't like the way they turn out. I've seen some good ones, but I don't know. I like thought for a long time, like what would I get and stuff. But then I just decided I'm gonna get text up here. And if I do decide to cover my scars, like I'll still have room to do it. Um, so that will be cool. Um, but so I'm kind of nervous because there's hair all over there. So I'm gonna have to shave that business off. Oh well. Um, anyway, another thing I've noticed is, uh, I can retain muscle, like, mad. And it's crazy because I'm vegan, so you would think that that wouldn't be the case. But, um, here, let me just show you. I haven't even been working out that much lately. And by retain, I mean, it hasn't that I built it, but it's that I kept it and I wasn't working out. So it's like, no. Oh. Alright, so, like... So it's like mad, crazy. Um, like I just well actually I don't really know. I'm gonna have to rewatch that to make sure it's actually there. But in the mirror, I like feel like behind me it's like wow muscles. I guess that goes from doing a lot of pull ups and stuff. Um, I'm actually about to go to the gym right now, but had a video request to be made about anything, so I'm doing that. Um, because I should keep better track of my changes. Really, <laughs> not that good. Oh, my chest. So you can see it, like, it looks pretty good. Um, it looked really dark on the video the other day. This is, I think, a more accurate, like, lighting for it. Uh, like, I don't really know how else to show you. Like, working on my, like, pec muscles, too. Like, uh, you can't really see them, but those ones. And, uh, just to, like, I don't know, I want to see if the line goes, like, under there. It's like, Bleh. Um, but anyway, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, um, it's No Shave November, so... I'm not shaving, and you're not gonna be able to see that either, but, wait, look, ooh, ooh, I already have stubble, um, I guess it's more of a, it's more of an in-person type deal, oh, you can kind of see it, but I, I do know after about, like, two to three weeks you can visibly see scruffly, so, in about two to three weeks I will update you on my no-shave November beard, um, <laughs> this is really exciting, Olga's doing it too, she's growing her beard out, no, <laughs> she's not a beard, but, you know, leg hair, whatever. Um, it's cool. I've been growing my out for a while. Oh, I'll show you that. It was crazy. Right. You're not gonna be able to see any of this business, are you? Look. Look how hairy. Oh my god. Double hair all the way across my leg. Um, yeah. So, about that. Uh, let's see. Um, then another transition I'm making is that, uh, is in my artwork. In my artwork, I'm going through a big transition. Um, I'm like really trying to get out of my comfort zone, so I started doing collages, which is something I always felt like I wasn't good at. Uh, this collage I did the other day, I'll show you. Um, it was a self-portrait I took of myself a few weeks ago, and then I put it on a canvas that I painted in the background. I don't know if I got a little closer. So that's me, clearly. You see a little, little bit of me in there. Um, before I cut my hair, but hey, it's cool. Uh, so, I don't know, I'm like a really, really big fan of this, like 8x10 on canvas, and like, I wicked like the way it came out, so I'm hoping to do a lot more things, a lot more things like this, like where you put like a photo, and then kind of like, you know, photo manipulate it uh, with traditional art methods. So I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I think it's kind of unnecessary for me to be shirtless, so I'm going to put a shirt on. It's kind of rainy, it's kind of cold out. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't even just realize that. Um, I don't put a shirt on in the morning until I have to like leave. 
So, like, even if I'm just walking around the apartment, I just walk around shirtless. Because my roommates know I'm trans. And they're totally okay with it. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure everyone in the school knows. And they're okay with it, so that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot, like, my, my YouTube video, it gets better when kind of, like, spread around everywhere. Um, which is fine. Honestly, you know, everyone's been nice to me, so it's not a problem. I pretend I'm stealth, and it makes me feel good. <laughs> um, whatever. People, people, like, have been saying things like, Sky, like, you're so inspiring. So, um, you're so inspiring, like, we're never gonna forget you, like, all this stuff, and I'm like, I wonder, huh, I don't really know them that well. So, I'm, I'm guessing that's kind of it. <laughs> I think they saw my videos, but, hey, you know, it's okay. Um, anyway, as for another transition, I'm actually going back to, uh, Skidmore College in the spring. Um, as most of you who've been following my videos for a while know, I transferred from Skidmore to MassArt, and, um, the reason behind that being uh, that, one, I thought maybe going to an all-art school would be more challenging, and two, that they have an art teacher education program, and I want to be a high school art teacher, eventually moving on to be a professor. So I thought that that would be a good course to take. Um, however, upon getting here, it's in the city. Uh, I'm close to Olga. She's like a 10-minute walk up the street. Ah, I'm close to my mom, too. Um, but I'm in the dorms right now, and then after this, i got to kind of like move off campus and live in an apartment and stuff, which is fine. But it's just that, um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the city. I, I'm not getting, like, the external inspiration that I need from the city, or from, like, just seeing all this artwork everywhere. As a matter of fact, I feel kind of stifled, um, in that sense. Like, all the people here are wicked nice. It's not competitive at all. Like, I'm really thankful for that. Like, it's, it's wicked, wicked nice, um, nice people. And, and that's great, but, you know, I don't, um, there's not really many, any, any like, extra extra like curriculars in the sense that first of all there's not many courses not art related and the one that I am in is absolutely not challenging at all and it's kind of a joke and a waste of my time and money but um there's that uh the liberal arts here is really lacking and I you know I, I drew a lot of my inspiration from like sociology and philosophy and all that and um I'm not saying this out loud just to convince myself I've had this conversation like 30 times so it's basically just like reciting it uh just to kind of explain because I'm sure it seems weird like I transferred and I was so set on doing it, and then now I'm going back. But the main thing was that there wasn't anything wrong with Skidmore, really, except that it's really expensive. <laughs> um, but I'm going to apply for financial aid, so that's okay. Uh, that was my only, like, main drawback about the whole place, was I was like, oh, I am paying so much money to go here. Um, but, and also the distance, because, you know, I like to be, I like to be close to my mom. Um, but I have a car now, so that's really not a problem. Like, last year I had to rely on a friend who would go home maybe, like, once a month at most. Uh, so I go and see old guy, go see my mom. So now I have a car, so I'll be able to go home uh, whenever I want. And having that freedom is going to make me feel really uh, much more secure in that sense. I hate to say that like having a car makes me feel more secure, but when it comes to like transportation and like literally not being able to get from point A to point B if like something important happened, I mean, I'm sure I could have like begged my friend to do it, but just knowing that like I can do that with ease um, when I need to and when I want to is like really, really great. Um, so there's that, that, that was a, those were the only reasons why Skidmore didn't feel right. Um, and I didn't know if, like, you know, having an art teacher education degree, which Skidmore doesn't offer, um, but I can take intro to teaching there, so that might be cool, but um, doesn't offer, like, would get me on the path to being a high school art teacher, and it's true, it would, but what, um, what eventually I need to do anyway is get my master's. So I'm planning on actually getting my master's of teaching in art education from MassArt um, in about two and a half years when I graduate from Skidmore. So... If I, you know, I'll move to the city for those, like, one and a half to three years. Olga might still be finishing up her double major in whatever she's going to double major in, um, like, for an extra semester or something. So she'll still be here, and we can, we can do that still, so that'll be good. Yeah, we're still going to do long distance, so, so that's fine. We work it out. We work it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get my master's here instead of spending, like, the next four to four and a half years here um, pursuing an entirely art-based degree, because... I don't feel confident with that. I don't. I don't feel like I'm gonna get the most out of my college experience if I'm just doing art all the time, um, because I love art and art has been a really important part of my life. But I don't need to build my life around art. You know, does that make sense? Like, I'm gonna build a life and then incorporate my art into it. You know, I want to be a teacher. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be cool. So I'm actually heading back there, and that's really hard because um, that's really tough because uh, uh, I love my roommates. Like, I I can't express that enough. I love my roommates so much. And they're not my roommates. I mean, they're like my like apartment mates. But like, 
so much love for them. I don't even know. I just, I, I feel bad. I started, like, ditching my other friends here and just, like, hang out with my roommates all the time. Um, and Olga. <laughs> I just spend time with Nick and Olga and Christopher. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> um, and, 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 like, I've got these, like, really good friends, Allison and Emily and Connor, and, like, they're so great. And we're actually going to a Matt and Kim show tonight in Boston. I'm so excited. So, anyway, so I'm leaving. <laughs> um, that's right. Yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, first spring semester. So, that's something there. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. And, um, it's, it's like, I kind of just like catch my too, you know? Like, I'm going to be so much happier. I know I'm going to be, like, so happy, like, the moment. Like, a week after I settle into Skidmore and, like, everything's unpacked and, like, I get into the swing of things, like, I'm going to be so happy, but, like, right now, it's like, oh, I'm kind of getting comfortable. Like, I guess I could do this for another semester. I'm gonna miss Olga and my mom. So it's, like, kind of, like, you know, it's, like, you may ask, like, oh, I didn't really give it a shot because it's only been, you know, two months, but trust me, like, in two months, you can kind of really know, like, if your heart is not happy and your soul is not happy, it's, it's, you know, when I have an opportunity to be happy, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight against, like, the forces of the city and the forces of the situation I'm in to, um, you know, be comfortable all the time. It's just comfortable, you know? So, like, at Skidmore, I was, like, happy, 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 happy. Doing lots of things, doing drumming, doing acapella, doing, playing music. Well, not, not doing acapella, but listening to acapella. Cause, well, I guess I could do acapella. They got an all-inclusive one, but hey. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm just, like, going on and on. So, I'm gonna go work out now. And, um... Yeah, so I will be back whenever. Ah, I feel like someone requested like a video for me to do. So if you had like a video request, just let me know because I forget and I need to start writing it down. So I'll write it down, I promise. Um, as long as it's like legitimate, I feel like it's something that I could really conquer in the like 12 minutes or whatever. It's a long one. Ah. Okay, so well, I can do like come over. Oh yeah, that's a good stuff for me. No, <laughs> um, all right. See you all in the future. Peace. Oh, yeah, I hope you all are doing well. Um, and also, I'm sorry that it takes me really long to get back to messages. I do have a lot of homework. Like, a lot of homework. So I apologize. And also, this whole reapplication thing is, like, really stressful. So, all right. Peace.